Welcome, I'm Sammy. I'm going to be doing an all signs for the freaking weekend. Today is the 14th, so it will go tonight and then into Saturday and Sunday for all signs. This is just to maybe give you a heads up or maybe just to confirm your current energy. A lot of times that's just what happens and a lot of times that's just enough. So thank you spirit, guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, source creator, and my higher self, and all of your higher selves. Thank you for being here with us at this time. Please protect us and give us clarity, clear messages, helpful messages for our highest good at this time. For this weekend, from today, the 14th, until, let's just say the 17th, which is Monday. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's start with the collective. Three of Cups in reverse, that's true, that's true. Okay, be careful of drinking too much, over-celebrating, and or not feeling like going out. Some people may be really tired right now. Some of you just may not be feeling it. However, this could feel like uh, interference, right? Third-party interference, Mercury retrograde pre-shadow interference. Stay away from us, Mercury. That's what I'm saying because we have the death card, okay, Scorpio energy. But Three of Cups reverse, that could be like someone gossiping, you hear about somebody talking about you behind your back, etc., whatever. Then we have this Death Card transformation. So, I'm going to say a lot of us might really feel like staying in this weekend. Um, but this is, if you're not staying in, this is definitely like you're doing too much. Okay, you're really doing too much. Don't overdo it. Don't go looking for trouble this weekend. No partying. That's when you can get into some big trouble. Overdoing it. You know what I mean. So with the death card here, we really probably shouldn't be doing that. Okay? We do have the full. So we are entering a new energy, I think. Jupiter and Pisces is like, Hello! bringing so many blessings and just amazing things and sometimes challenges and definitely the pre-shadow of mercury retrograde is bringing challenges but i feel like we want to walk away from the old the old shit we're walking away from these people from a certain crowd from a certain person walking away possibly from a third party situation some of you if you're in relationships you may be worried about a third party situation, but um, this to me is like stuff getting out of hand this weekend. And that's also a little bit part of the astrology as well. More dark energy this weekend. So you will be possibly wanting to overindulge a little bit. So once again, Try not to go out partying this weekend, especially when it comes around like Sunday, fun day time. Okay, so we need to leave that behind right now. I'm thinking <laughs> we need to go through this death phase and start brand new with the Fool, with a fresh new outlook and really let Jupiter and Pisces expand us in positive ways spiritually instead of overindulging, trying to escape, just doing too much right here. Okay, anything else for the collective spirit for this weekend? Yeah, this is kind of funny. It's like in some really 3D ways, I can see this as if you go out tonight, tomorrow you're screwed. And then Sunday you might start feeling a little bit better and actually get some stuff done on Sunday. <coughs> it's just funny how that popped in my head that way, but uh, really be careful with these darker energies, okay? Like demonic this weekend. So if you're getting into arguments with people or you're out causing carnage, 
Just go home and stay home. Uh, it is a good time, I think, to start something new. Yeah, I think there may be confusion with a lot, a lot of people, and this is causing conflict. This is like Seven of Wands is really defensive. You may be finding something brand new, a new spark of inspiration this weekend, more so towards the end of the weekend, that makes you feel like this is going to be my brand new beginning. This is going to be something I should really dedicate to and maybe like starting to form a strategy in that way of working hard towards something or picking that thing that you want to work hard at because Seven of Wands is, can be defensive energy but it's like putting in the work, effort, passion, fire, okay? This can be a fire sign. We also have Scorpio here and uh, in Aries. So this is interesting. I feel like if you did find out for some reason this weekend that there was a third party situation or someone's interfering or you can't get past it, this is the time when you're going to be uh, ready to let it go. You can easily walk away from something like that at this time and just start something brand new. Something worth fighting for. Something where you feel like they're fighting for you too. Yeah. I think we're closing up a cycle here. I've been talking about this ending, how we're all ending something. Okay, this weekend might help you with that, but don't go out looking for rebounds and stuff. Okay, because I could really see that getting out of hand this weekend. So, if you want to start something new, really come from a very positive, divine, spiritual place where alcohol doesn't need to be involved and dark stuff doesn't need to be involved. Because we're really putting it into some suffering and pain, I feel like, just as a collective. Um, so... You may, some of you may be finding out. This is coming through for the collective. Isn't that insane? So whatever it is, somebody hurt you, okay? And you just found out possibly something about this connection, something about this person, this group of people, somebody who's interfering, somebody doing stuff behind your back, somebody talking behind your back, um, backstabbing, betrayal, the ultimate betrayal. So this is really painful and, and um, oh, I just don't like this for the collective. Hierophant on the bottom. This is like maybe putting it into a commitment that maybe was supposed to end anyway, but it feels like it doesn't end in the best way. Like maybe there was an ending and maybe you thought you could have gone back over and started over again. Uh, and like said, like I'm willing to fight for this, but it seems like this thing is over. For some of us, we may have wanted commitment, but I don't, I don't really see that. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, Judgment. It seems more so like um, maybe we want something more stable, and it's just not there. So. We're getting our calling now. The inner calling is coming through like, mm -mm, time for that to be over with. And you know that it's over with. This is so weird for the collective. Why? Why? Queen of Wands definitely like Stella getting her groove back. Confident. Sometimes a little bit spicy. Sometimes a little bit jealous. Very fiery energy. And King of Pentacles is like very generous. He takes care of his business. Uh, very grounded serious energy so be careful with people younger than you be careful with gossip okay if you hear somebody talking smack this weekend you might just want to leave that situation entirely this weekend is going to be like a like a test i think so if you come into some negative energy this weekend, you just need to turn around and run the other way. Don't stay and hang out and try to just see how it goes. No. You just need to go home. That was so weird. Thank you, Spirit. Let's talk about Capricorn for this weekend. 14th through the 17th. Capricorn. 
Capricorn for this weekend. How are we doing, Cappies? There's you, King of Pentacles. We were just talking about you. Very firm, sturdy, stable. You got your money. You're worried about your business. You know, very kind of a serious energy, but you take care of the people around you. Somebody's worried though. What are you worried about? Sleepless nights, anxiety, stress. You could be stressing about your money. What else for Capricorn? Judgment. Judgment call being made. This could be like a final judgment when it comes to settlement, divorce. Uh, this could be a wake-up call for many people. This could be getting signs. So, stress, possibly about money. But then you make a decision about it, okay? Decision is made. Uh, we have three of wands on the bottom, so you may be waiting to see where this goes. Spirit may be telling you, don't worry, obviously. Don't worry. Seriously, don't. But you're waiting. Like, you gotta wait to see anyways. So don't spend this time worrying. There is a judgment that's, that is made. So a decision is, it's final. I don't know if you come to this decision or if Spirit does it for you, but a judgment is made. And it seems to be about money. So quit worrying. Just wait and see how it goes. You're open to expansion. Three of Wands is very expansive in energy. This is Jupiter kind of here in Pisces where you can open yourself up, broaden your horizons to newer possibilities and opportunities that are going to come in. So it's like to stay optimistic about that, about those opportunities. And just, it's like just wait and see where it goes. Don't get worried and anxious yet. Tell me about Aquarius for this weekend. Oh my. The moon, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you guys just got that Knight of Pentacles the other day. So we have this intuition. Um, be careful with this Piscean energy, okay? Because of Jupiter and from the collective. Don't be going out drinking this weekend. Seriously. The moon can be what is hidden. Uh, a little bit illogical. A little bit dreamy. It can be. It could also be your intuition. It could also be emotion. Um, but this could be a Pisces coming towards you. Um, or an Earth sign. We have this Knight of Pentacles here. So you can be deciding uh, to go for a dream. Like a dream of yours, a goal of yours. Working hard long term. This is a very disciplined energy, Knight of Pentacles. Or this could be an Earth sign coming in with an offer for you. Okay, or this could be uh, you making a plan, a strategy, very disciplined, moving towards this thing that you want, this long-term, stable thing. So this could be a commitment with a partner, possibly a Pisces, or an Earth sign. Or this could be a new job, a dream, and you're just getting guidance from your intuition. Yeah, we have six on the bottom. Six of Wands is, is success. It's victory. So this thing, if you invest in this thing and it's going to turn out awesome. I don't know if you had a dream about this, if it came to you in a dream, if you've had a, um, guidance and intuition about this thing, but it's going to turn out really great for you. It's possible you may um, get this recognition for this thing this weekend. It also can be the wedding card. Hmm. So for some of you, I, don't, I just don't get what's hidden about it. Why is the moon here? It's like there's definitely an offer and then messages. Okay, you may be getting messages. You're wondering what's being hidden possibly. Maybe you think somebody's hiding something from you. But messages come in or someone comes in to talk and then it starts moving forward here. Knight of Pentacles. As long as you're dedicated and you're willing to put in the hard work that it takes for this, it's going to turn out really great. I don't know what you're doing this weekend. But you might be getting married, you know? That could be a proposal. I don't know why it's so hidden. Maybe it's just like there's something unknown about it. Or you're uncertain about it. 
but it ends up really good. So maybe you don't have all the facts yet or you don't have this offer yet in your hands, but it's gonna end up good. Maybe you should pray about it. Ask for guidance. Listen to your intuition. Thank you. Tell me about Pisces for this weekend, please, Spirit. Clear messages for Pisces. King of Swords, okay. Clear communicator, possibly cutting somebody out. What is this? That's not the one. Ace of Swords, yeah. Okay, there may be a truth coming out, communication coming out. Um, a brand new beginning here, possibly a, a brand new inspiration or an idea that comes to you. It's some sort of communication you're getting from a King of Swords. You could have a King of Swords entering the scene. This could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody may want to come in and talk about Ten of Cups. Temperance on the bottom. Wait. <laughs> this is like maybe King of Swords, Air Sign, or just somebody you know better than me. Somebody who's really firm has a plan, they have a strategy, they've thought about it very logically, and they're coming to you and they want to talk. Uh, some point this weekend, okay? Maybe this already happened, I don't know. Ace of Swords is communication, it's truth. Maybe they want to get something off their chest, they want to talk about it. Seems like they want to talk about Ten, ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is like happy, happy feeling. Can you see this? I feel like the camera is so far away. Ten of Cups is happy family. Emotional fulfillment. And it's everything. It's the whole family. And then temperance on the bottom, Sagittarian energy. This is like... It's also like wait and see kind of thing. Temperance is definitely have patience. Temperance is definitely wait on higher guidance. The stars are trying to align and make this happen for you. And it has something to do with your Ten of Cups. So be alert, okay, and ready for some sort of message or truth to come to you. It may be by an air sign. It may not. This could also be your energy. You could be uh, kind of tougher, harder energy. Maybe cutting someone out with some sort of truth. Getting something off your chest about some sort of emotional fulfillment. Or, or confessing that you want that. I don't know, but temperance there on the bottom. Maybe maybe you. it's been a while since you spoke to this person. Maybe you've been waiting in this waiting period. Anyway, the stars seem to want to align in your favor. Or this person is just telling you that. The stars are going to align for us. Just wait and see. It seems like there is something coming out this weekend, okay? And I, I've heard that a lot of different places. A lot of different astrologers talking about that. So, Mercury does that, you know, pre-shadow communication and lines get crossed. But also things could just be coming out. Or things coming up from the past. Things coming up that you didn't know. But be aware with the lines getting crossed and the communication issues too that maybe you shouldn't listen to everything you hear and maybe you're taking it the wrong way, etc. Thanks, Pisces. Tell me about Aries. Please, Spirit, shuffle for me. That's what Spirit said. Would you shuffle for me? Or maybe that was Aries. Aries talking. Hey, shuffle. Shuffle, chick. Okay. Tell me about Aries for this weekend, please. Spirit clear messages for Aries. There was one. Page of Wands. Moving towards something very exciting. This could be a fire sign. This is you. Or this could be a fire sign, another fire sign. Entering. Stage left. Wanting to talk. Communication or a message coming. This could be a passionate message. Someone could be reaching out to you. You could be wanting to reach out to someone else too. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Very passionate, exciting, adventurous, spicy, hot. Could be. But it's, uh, it's immature. You know, it's small. It's little. It's like a thought. It's just a tiny message like, hey, what are you doing? 
and maybe it turns into something spicy. Dare I say, sexy? Hmm? Passionate? Tell me more, Aries. Tell me about this page of wands for Aries this weekend. Definitely be careful if you're going out just this. Could be dealing with a Libra. That would be your exact opposite. And opposites attract. Um, but this may be bringing balance. Maybe someone comes to you with a very loving, passionate message that, um, like excited message that brings you justice. Maybe you get really good news this weekend that brings balance to a situation. Oh, those wanted to jump out. Okay, we have Ace of Pentacles. So someone may be coming or you get news about this brand new opportunity when it comes to money, a brand new beginning when it comes to security and stability. It could be a relationship um, and something that you may have given up on. We have Five of Cups here. So you may have felt someone turn their back on you um, and and now it seems, I mean, you could have been focused on the negative in the situation, but it seems like someone wants to come talk and, and this is supposed to bring you balance. Otherwise, it's a Libra, but there's a new idea here of abundance and, and stability and security. Why you feel upset about it or abandoned or uh, a little bit hurt, this could just be neglect or a feeling of like regret. But Ace of Pentacles is really great, so is Justice. On the bottom we have Seven of Swords. You may not trust this right away. You may be, for some reason, thinking back to a situation where things didn't go too great for you. But I wouldn't focus on that, Aries. I would focus on the positive message, the juicy information that comes in, and the Justice and the Ace of Pentacles that is very possible, which is a new opportunity. Okay. You may need to have a strategy for this. That may be the Seven of Swords saying, don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on how it's not coming together. Instead, build your strategy for how it needs to come together. Focus on the positive, Aries. Because it sounds like a, a good opportunity for you. And it's going to bring you balance. And it like balances karma, too. So this is meant for you. Someone coming from your past, possibly. You could have... I mean, it could be a lover, but it could also be Leo. It could also be business partner, you know, starting something new in business. Either way, it's secure and stable once you build this strategy and you get it right. Anyway, expect a message, okay? Tell me about Taurus, please. Taurus for the weekend. 14th through the 17th of May. What can Taurus expect this weekend? Hmm. Oh yeah, we're starting it, baby. We're starting this Mercury retrograde. Six of Cups. Something from your past, someone coming from your past. Just memories sometimes. Sometimes it's just thinking about the past. Nostalgia. Oh, the, remember how great it was? We have Emperor as well. So this is Aries energy. This is a firm, hard, kind of blunt Aries. Uh, he's disciplined. He's like, he, he has the power. Does that make sense? In his best energy, the Emperor is a wonderful accumulation of all four kings. So this man has power. You could be wanting this. You could be thinking back to a time when you had this. You could already have this. Or you could be wanting to reach out to this emperor. Or this could be you. Okay, take it out, resonates. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. New opportunity. It seems as though, possibly for some of you, the universe wants to bless you. The universe is bringing in a gift. Six of Cups can be a gift. It can be emotional, thinking back, nostalgia. Or it can be someone coming in. From your past wanting to talk in an emotional way or give you a gift as well as the universe could be giving you a gift that puts you in a position of power or it could be coming from an Aries okay ace of Pentacles like this isn't a new opportunity it's brand new but it could be coming back around from something you've already started 
that you're about to pick up again or someone from your past. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles. We got Queen of Pentacles on the bottom and Queen of Wands. So, for some of you, you're more worried and concerned about possibly being single. If that's a relationship, like if an Aries is trying to come back around for you, Taurus, you're more focused on your money and, and doing you. When I see those two queens together, it's like work hard, play hard. I'm hot and I'm focused on my money right now. So if this emperor is trying to come in, trying to take control of things or take power or get you like, hey, you need to listen to what I say. You need to do this. There is an opportunity. But uh, if you're this queen, both of these queens, you might need to put that emperor in check. I'm just saying. I don't know. That's just the vibe I'm getting. See where it goes. It's a, it's a of pinnacles. And it seems like a gift. So see what this emperor has to say. Thanks, Taurus. Gemini. Gemini for the weekend. I just keep hearing that song. It's the freaking weekend. And I'm telling you, that is the energy of like, yeah, let's go out. Let's go do something. So be careful. Don't go to the dark side this weekend. Okay, Gemini. We have Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So this could be that you are avoiding doing some inner work, avoiding taking time to yourself and and bettering yourself, self-development, or it could be that you're coming out of a period where you've been really focused on yourself and now you feel that um, you're ready to move forward and mentor somebody else. That could be possible. We have this death on the bottom. I feel that there was an ending, okay, because possibly someone wasn't putting in the work. They weren't working on themselves. Seems to be an ending because there's conflict here. We have the death, scorpion energy, and we have five of wands. That's conflict. Hierophant. A commitment may be ending for you, Gemini, because there's a lot of conflict, turmoil, confrontation, arguments. You could have wanted this commitment. But it's like some if someone's not going to put in the effort, you could have been working on yourself and this person was supposed to be doing the same thing and then it turns out they weren't. And this causes conflict and then you're like, you know what? F it. Forget about it. That's just for some of you, okay? For some of you, you are denying yourself some sort of growth and that cycle is ending, but it is causing conflict. It's like, this is definitely something you need to do. And the higher font energy would be, in this case, higher knowledge. Representing higher knowledge, tradition, values. Um, when it comes to leveling up for yourself. If this is about your own self-development. If this is about a person in your life not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Or not doing what they said they were going to do. Definitely this person can be coming in to talk to you. Or this thing could be ending very quickly. Because possibly arguing over values and traditions or belief systems. Or this person just not, they're not putting in the work. And they're not trying to build with you, you know, or, or try to build abundance with you. Take that how it resonates, Gemini. Tell me about cancer, please. For this weekend, shuffle. Okay. Cancer. Hello, Cancer. Is this thing on? Just kidding. Okay, tell me. For Cancer for this weekend, please. Cancer for today, the 14th through the 17th. Cancer. What can they expect for this weekend? The energy of this weekend for Cancer. 14th through the 17th of May. What's this? 
Okay. Working on something. Putting in the work. Putting in the effort. Waiting to see how it comes out. The Empress. Ooh, you might be putting in some work with an Empress. Hot. The Empress is so hot. She's fertile. She's beautiful. She's doing her thing. She's like the ultimate manifester, attractor of physical things and people. And everyone just loves this Empress. So this could be you becoming the Empress, in the Empress energy, hot AF right now, putting in the work, effort, uh, investment into yourself possibly. Or this could be someone deciding to put in the effort towards this Empress. King of Wands on the bottom. Very hot. You could have a Leo, Sag, or Aries coming towards you. Saying, hey babe, I want to put in some effort on you girl. <laughs> or boy, doesn't matter. Anyways, Justice. Oh shit. Justice, the lovers. Yeah, this is. Sometimes King of Wands is too playful, okay? They're passionate and all that, and they know what they want, and, and they take action. But sometimes it's just all about the bedroom, and it's not stable, sturdy, long-term like the King of Pentacles. So I'm just saying, keep that in mind. If there's a King of Wands in your presence, or if you are the King of Wands, if you want this Empress, you got to come correct. Okay? Ain't that right, Empress? You're going to have to put in the effort. You're going to have to show me these pinnacles. I'm going to have to see it. Because justice and the lovers, that's Libra, Gemini, all the fire, Taurus, all the earth. And there's Cancer coming on the bottom of the chariot. Somebody's worried about this. Somebody said, if you don't put in this effort, we're done. So the king is coming and he's saying, justice is served, my love. <laughs> I'm putting in the work and the lovers. And then someone is so worried. And then it, it's like, Jesus, chariot, two of cups. This is heavy. I don't know what you guys are doing this weekend, Cancer, but there is so many major arc. Arcana, you want a soulmate, I feel. And it's like, if you may have thought this person was your soulmate, you may still think this person is your soulmate. And we do have the lovers, could be a twin flame card, we do have two of cups. You want to move towards this soulmate, or you want them to make moves towards you, but somebody is stressed. They maybe don't think they're enough. Maybe they're just in their head about this. Maybe you're just in your head about this. But two of cups, the lovers, all in the upright. It seems like a good connection if this king of wands is serious and really wants something for the long term because the empress is not messing around. She could have anybody right now. You know what I'm saying? Queen of cups jumped out. That could be you, Cancer. Could also be a Pisces or Scorpio in your life, but this is emotional. This is emotional. There is love here. That is so sweet. And the lovers right there on the bottom. <laughs> Y'all may be involved with a Gemini. You may be involved with another water sign. Or a fire sign. I mean, that fire sign was there. He could just be very passionate. He or she. I mean, they want you for sure. Maybe they don't know how to come. They don't know how to prove it to you. Somebody's stressing about something. So try to let those worries go. Try to let go of those. Somebody's coming in for you. Coming towards you. Doing what you want them to do. Because the chariot. The lovers. Two of cups. The empress. I mean come on. Okay Cancer. Have a great weekend. Ten of Pentacles, like this person is everything you want. You just, you need to put in this effort. And if, if it's your person, they need to put in this effort. And you already know that. Somebody else already knows that. Somebody's very worried about it. 
I think you know you're meant for each other. All right, that's enough for you, Cancer. You're going to make me cry. Tell me about Leo for the weekend. Leo for this weekend. 14th through the 17th. Leo energy, please, for this weekend. What's Leo doing? What is this? Okay, yep. Six of Swords. Moving on, transitioning. Could be vacationing. You could be moving physically. You're letting something go. You're moving away from it. It wasn't made for you. It wasn't good for you. It wasn't working out. So you're moving to calmer waters. And this is a logical thing. You know? Like, you decided, logically, this isn't going to work. And I'm just going to head in a new direction. And sometimes it's sad, and there's regrets, and it's meh. But you're just going to do it. I mean, you already did it. You're doing it. High Priestess, okay? You could be dealing with the Pisces. High Priestess energy is your intuition. It's your subconscious. It's what you create in the ethers. And it's your guidance. A lot of times this is your higher guidance coming in. Saying, this was meant to be. This is going to be okay. Also, you need to listen to your intuition. This is you, Leo. See the sun? The sun is here. So Spirit is saying, it's fine. You're going to leave this thing and you're going to find better. You're going to leave this thing. And this high priestess energy, your intuition is here guiding you. We're here guiding you. Your angels and all that. That's what they're saying. Towards, back towards you. Leo, back towards the sun, back towards your happiness, maybe family, maybe kids, I don't know, emperor on the bottom, Aries energy, back to where maybe uh, you're in control, some of you could be, have Aries in your chart or be Aries north node and that would make a lot of sense, so moving away from a situation, maybe it wasn't for your highest good, so now this will be, and you're going to move towards your happy place, back towards you, working on yourself, becoming the emperor, strategy, diligent, discipline, powerful, like going for what you want now, standing in your power, taking back control, doing what makes you happy, Leo, and apparently it all starts this weekend, <laughs> so good for you. You are the sun. Enjoy your happy weekend. Thank you, Leo. Let's go to Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Yes, okay. Shiesty energy. Somebody's either running away from a situation, avoiding a situation. Somebody maybe you don't trust. Somebody sneaky up under your nose. Lying, cheating, deceiving, you just don't trust it, okay? It doesn't have to be any of those things. Don't take my word for it. You know your situation better than me. What's this about? The magician. Okay, you could be letting go of a manifestation. Like you really wanted something and now you're just going to walk away from it, avoiding it. And or, and this is what I feel is more probably more correct. Strategy, logically... Coming like with the step-by-step -step of how am I going to create this thing. The Magician. You're creating something powerful. Page of Cups here. Page of Cups, Nine of Cups on the bottom. I feel that Virgo. You're building a strategy. You're going to figure out how, how you're going to do this. And you're manifesting this. You are creating this. Page of Cups. This is a message of love. You may be deciding, this is part of your strategy, that you want to manifest love. And so you want to move towards somebody. Could be a water sign. Or this could be a water sign coming in to speak with you, Virgo. But there is a message of love. A communication of love. This could be an apology. You could be expecting an apology. Take this however it resonates, okay? Maybe vice versa for you. So a message comes in of love. It could be a message of, hey, I'm manifesting this thing, or I'm trying to manifest you. Because at the end, we have Nine of Cups here. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. You may be deciding 
you're going to manifest, let's say, a Pisces. There's a little fish in this guy's cup, all right? Let's say you want to manifest a relationship with somebody. So you're deciding you're just going to slip a little message in there this weekend. Something loving, something kind, something cute, compassionate. Because you want this thing. This is your wish fulfillment. Or this is your wish come true. Also, I have to say this for Virgo. Because, I mean for anybody, but for Virgo, because your security, your emotional security, and your financial security, and all that material security is so powerful and meaningful for you, Nine of Cups also represents emotional independence. So this is not needing anybody else to fill your cups. This is just what you want. This is your wish come true. So nobody else has to be involved in actuality. You may decide you're going to do uh, apologize to somebody and then everything's going to be great. That could be the end of it. And then you're going to feel better about yourself. You did what you needed to do. You've been forgiven or they've been forgiven or whatever. The situation is better. And that may just be your wish. Emotional independence is not needing anybody else. For some of you, you are manifesting an offer, a date, an interview. I don't know what this is. This is probably an apology or a message of love or a message of even just interest in love. So that's pretty sweet, Virgo. And this is moving you closer to your wish fulfillment and or emotional independence. Moving away, away from codependence for whatever needs you have, you know. We rely on others for so many things, we don't even realize. Emotionally. Okay, that's enough. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, all these offers coming in. Virgo, you might be really hot right now. And you're just manifesting whatever wants to come in. You're trying to build a strategy, but you're actually super attractive right now. It's all these knights coming in with offers for you. These could also be business offers. I don't know, but it fulfills you emotionally. So, way to go, Virgo. Let's talk to Libra. Tell me about Libra for this weekend. 14th through the 17th. Por favor. Libra. Wait, got one. King of Cups. Libra, are you a King of Cups? Or do you have a King of Cups? Water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Might be. Or it might just be someone who's really loving. Really compassionate. Really cares about you. Let's see. Tell me about this King of Cups for Libra. He is in complete control of his emotions. He really is. The Magician. You could be calling in a King of Cups. Page of Cups on the bottom. There's a lot of emotional stuff happening here. Page of Cups on the bottom. So you may be wanting an apology. You may be wanting to hear from this King of Cups. And it seems like he's going to come in quick. It could be a male. It could be a female. It doesn't matter for you, Libra. But King of Swords. What are you doing? You got two kings, Libra? I don't know. This king of swords could be you. Or Gemini or Aquarian energy. I don't know who you are. I need to see your face. <laughs> king of cups. Very emotional. A lot of love. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. The Magician in the middle. And then King of Swords. You could be trying to create something or come together with someone in a very loving, almost kind of pushy way. Because King of Swords is very logical and this is how it needs to be. And all heart strings out of it. But you're wanting this so bad, it's like you're creating this. You're manifesting this. This could be you if you're both kings. 
where you have a lot of love, but you're using your mind too. You're being very logical about the connection. And or you got two different kings. One is very loving, and the other is completely detached and super logical. We do have the tower on the bottom, so the tower either already came in, or it's about to. Something's about to pop off here, Libra. Something's going to come to an end. You're going to have to choose. If you have two different king or queens, you're going to have to choose. It's like you can't, it's like you can't, you don't know which is the better fit. The magician in the middle, like, which do I create with? Death card. And I just saw the Ten of Swords. Something comes to an end. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something is ending. The tower is going to rip this thing to shreds. So you better come clean, Libra. <laughs> if that's you, okay? If not, I don't know who this is for because some of you, you just, you weren't happy either way. Some of you got two options you don't even like. You want to put in the effort. Somebody wants to invest in, in something. You want to invest in a new beginning. But sometimes it seems just too heavy. You just want to lay the whole thing down. Some of you are not content at all with either option. And there was another younger page coming in too. That page of cups in the beginning. Maybe that king of cups is going to come and apologize. Whoever comes to talk to you with an offer of love, that's the one you choose. If you don't choose, the tower is going to choose for you. These are crazy readings. Okay, what the? Queen of Wands. For some of you, you're very confident right now. You're very attractive right now. And you're just really attracting all kinds of people to you. For some of you, you may want a Queen of Wands, fire sign. There's a lot of people involved here. I don't know if there's people in your business. Yeah, it's too heavy. You want to lay it down. You're done. You know which is best because there's a burden here. Something is burdening you or the situation. Of how many people are in your life? That is burdensome in itself. I like, dang, can y'all give me some space? <laughs> the point is you're the magician. So Libra, you're so damn flirty, you probably put yourself in this situation. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. I don't know. It could be your person too, okay? Look at it that way. Maybe it's for cross watchers for Libra. There's a lot going on. Some of you, you're, you're, you're all of them. You're trying to figure out, do I apologize? Do I make an emotional stance here? You want to manifest something, but you're like, should I be logical? Should I just let this thing go? Should I come from a mental energy or should I come from my heart? I don't know if it's stressing you out, Libra. You got to let it go. You got to let it go. You make a move or let it go. Shit or get off the pot. That's what they say. I don't like that saying, but that's what they say. The star. You get some form of enlightenment, okay? And or you're dealing with an Aquarius, but... Enlightenment comes to you. The star is like wish come true. I don't know. I always say follow your heart. Anyways, these these readings are nuts. Libra, you got like a 15 minute reading. Okay, tell me about Scorpio, please. Scorpio for the weekend. 14th through the 17th. Scorpionic energy. What are you guys doing? The sun. You may be involved with the Leo, wanting to get involved with the Leo, or just feeling very happy right now. In a very happy place. We got the emperor here, so you could be dealing with an Aries as well. Um, this person could have Leo and Aries, or just a fire sign, period. But it seems like you're in your power. You you have authority right now over your own life, or you're feeling very good. Like this is a great reading. You got Hierophant on the bottom. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Aries, Leo. Something is making you very happy right now. You're feeling pretty good. For some of you, there's children involved and maybe thinking about having kids soon. I don't know. You just feel like the boss right now. You may be thinking about committing to somebody or, or you want to commit to somebody. 
But you're in your head about it. You're thinking about commitment. You're thinking about the long run here. You come off like this emperor right now, Scorpio. So you may have Aries in your chart. You feel very happy and easygoing and easy to get along with. You have this way about you that is very glowing almost. But you also have this very serious side. In your head, you're trapped. You're really thinking about a lot going on. You may have some healing that you need to do. You may be following someone. Stop. You may have a stalker. or You may be stalking somebody. Or you're stalking them on social media. The devil energy. Ooh, Capricorn. Could be dealing with Capricorn. Or you could have Capricorn in your chart. I don't know what you guys are doing. All these readings have been nuts. But, um... Get out of your head, okay? You may want to talk to a Capricorn. There's definitely some sort of obsessive thinking. Probably obsessive communication as well. If you text somebody and they don't text you back, leave it alone. And that goes for your person too, cross watchers. Fancy snoring, she's asleep. The tower. Something's going to come to an end, and there is an opportunity for a brand new beginning. But Scorpio, you're just feeling super intense right now. I think you want to fight for this thing or protect something that you have, and it's kind of making you a little bit obsessive. So just be careful with that, okay? Do not go drinking this weekend or drugs of any kind. It will not end up good for you. <laughs> and you're probably going to want to. So don't do it. Oh, no. You know I can't take all these cards. I just like to see what they are. <laughs> yeah, uh, you get some sort of message, passionate message possibly, or you want to go talk and give, tell someone something, passionate message. Tell them how you feel in a loving way. Or maybe they come towards you, but sometimes it's a little bit too controlling. It's a little bit too pushy. And then a judgment call is made. Um, there's some sort of ending here. Final final judgment, final decision. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. Only you know. Thank you, Spirit. Let's move to Sagittarius for the weekend. From today, the 14th, until the 17th. What is Sagittarius doing? What is their energy this weekend? What? Pause. Pause. Okay, completion. You may be completing a cycle. Completing a cycle, deciding to walk away from something. You could be thinking about moving, wanting to move, wanting to uh, travel, go on vacation, go on a long distance thing. You, you might just want to get away from a situation for right now, but we have the world card. This is fixed energy. So this is Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or Taurus. Um, doesn't have to be, but they're there. Um, so it seems like something has come to a completion. You've learned a lesson, um, and you're closing the door on one chapter and starting brand new somewhere else. And for a lot of you, you're leaving something behind. Okay, for others of you, you're just having to switch it up and change your strategy now. You're going to have to let something go, the old way of doing it go, and then you got to try it a different way. Judgment. So much judgment happening. Decision being made, okay? You're, you're understanding or finding closure in a situation, closing that chapter and moving on. We've got King of Pentacles here. You're worried about your money, it seems. Or King of Pentacles could be entering the scene. Got lovers on the bottom, Gemini. So for some of you, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. For some of you, you could be leaving a situation, or the situation, a relationship could have ended already a long time ago, but you're just now kind of getting closure from it and ready to move on. It still hurts, though. You're still, it's a little bit painful for you, even though you have closure, but you're ready to move forward. King of Pentacles, it's like you're moving towards either just focusing on your money, or you're moving towards an earth sign who's stable and secure and has everything you want. The lovers on the bottom, that, that, this feels like relationship stuff, Sagittarius. So only you know Virgo, the Hermit. And we got King of Cups on the bottom. So 
you could be going within hermit mode Virgo energy to figure out what you're doing or this king of cups is a Virgo we also have Gemini and then uh, I mean king of Pentacles is a Virgo and we have king of cups as well so it could be a water sign or earth sign or it could be Gemini I feel like so you know what I feel like in all of these readings it's like you have so many options all of a sudden but you know what hasn't come out seven of cups the options card the confusion and not knowing what to pick no no twos have come out at all nobody's weighing any options it just seems like okay here's what I want to say there's two paths you either know where you're going in this life or you don't the ones who know where they're going right now who are choosing a new path, who are deciding, it's hard, but I'm letting it go. I'm going to go a new way. They are creating a super, like, attraction right now. And so you're opening the door to so many more new opportunities. And that's what I really feel is happening here. If you want love, Sagittarius, you can have it. You could have new love in another situation. You probably wouldn't want to. I mean, I don't know if you'd want to close the door on something and head into something else. But a lot of you are. King of Pentacles. This definitely could be a Virgo or King of Cups. We also have Leo here and Aries and Heartbreak. So y'all could have a bunch of options or you have all these signs in your chart. I don't know. But these readings have been ridiculous. So I'm going to go ahead and say for everyone who's watching, this is going to be a roller coaster this weekend. <laughs> be careful what you do. Be careful what you wish for. Stay in line with you, in alignment with the universe, and moving towards the best possible, most highest good for you. I can't get over how crazy these readings are. So, please like and subscribe. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you figure out all these options and emotions and things that's going on and um, please leave a comment if you know anything about what I've talked about in these readings that would be great confirmation is always good for me uh, and it opens the conversation for people who want to talk about it so thank you and I'll see you in the next one